Hey everybody, what's up? Dave here, coming back to you with a random video on the channel. This is probably going to be a quick one. There's no point in me dragging this one out. I was bored. Very bored. I have uh, some old Dreamcast ISOs, well, CDI images, on my computer. And while I was bored, I wanted to see if I could mess with the files. So I downloaded an old Sega Dreamcast modification kit called the CDI Toolkit. Installed ISO Buster, admittedly cracked it, and then opened up one of my favorite games, which is San Francisco Rush 2049. This game was far superior on the Sega Dreamcast. If you played it on the N64, do yourself a service, download a Dreamcast emulator, and play it on the Sega Dreamcast. Anyway, ReDream is the best Dreamcast emulator, by the way. Yes, there's things you have to pay for with that emulator if you want to use it to its full potential, but... Whatever. Anyway, so, I got, I was messing around with the files, doing the things that I do, and I remembered one of my old favorite songs in the game was called Garage. So I found the file, obviously, it's called Garage, easy enough, and I wanted to mess with it. So, I extracted it, and it's right here, and I decided this is kind of the, f this is the flow or the thought process that I have usually when it comes to figuring out files. Because I have people ask me all the time, like, oh, can you teach me how you figure out what this file type is, or what this kind of file is, or this and that. And the very first thought I had was open it in a hex editor. A hex editor is always going to tell you the basis of a file. So you just open it in HXD hex editor, and what do you know? It tells me what this file is. So this is a Sega Stream Asset Builder Revision 1.82 from 1999 at 106 p.m. is when this file was created. How cool is that to know when you are actually like such a fan of this? The file format is a single stereo track with a bit depth of 32. I would love to find a 32-bit format of this. This is a bit depth of 16. I can't read. It is a sample rate of 2250. 22,050. Compression, none. This file was converted on 9 6 2000 at 3.42 p.m. Abstract, no abstraction information provided. This space is intentionally left blank. I was like, okay, well, sure, there's that info, but maybe there's got to be something somewhere that tells me what the audio header is. Because the header of a file tells you a lot of things. It tells you what kind of file it is. So, for example... Let's go, we'll just open up the CDI image, basically. So a CDI image, yeah, the header doesn't tell you much, actually, I just realized. But if you, like, scroll down just a little bit to wherever the start of the file is. This was a bad example. I'm going to use something else. Um, let's just go, like, a random picture. So this is a PNG format file. Obviously, if I open it up in a hex editor, the file header is going to tell me it is a PNG file. The file header, the file header, unless it is a compressed file, will never actually steer you wrong. But I couldn't find like an audio format header in here, and this file is gigantic. Now, granted, I'm not surprised the file is gigantic because they say right here compression none. So that tells me that hey, the file is obviously gigantic. So obviously it's not going to have any compression. So my next thought was, oh, this is an audio file. Let's try playing it in a music player. So my favorite music player to use is VLC Media Player. VLC can play pretty much everything I've ever thrown at it, including STR files. So the STR file here, basically the way VLC works is if it finds audio data, it is going to play it. Now, I don't know if there are uh, if there's any copyright on this stuff, but I will mute my... Uh, well, no, I'm not going to play it, but I'll show you it plays. So if I scroll through... Um, hold on. You'll hear it through my microphone because it comes through my speakers. I know that's very noobish of a way to record audio. I'm sorry I didn't think this through. I was too excited. Anyway, as you can see, it does play. Now, if I go really far into this, the song is only about five minutes long. So why is there nine minutes, 
17 minutes. Why is there 21 minutes worth of audio here? There's not. If I go here, the recording breaks. So in my head, I'm like, well, shoot. Where do I find a program that's just going to detect that there's audio and rip it out? Because I want to be able to actually, like, this sounds incredibly nerdy, I know. I want to put this on my phone so I can listen to it sometimes if I'm, like, driving or something because I love this song. Well, this is where this part of this came in that I was really honestly kind of surprised about. I went to Google. <laughs> and this is legitimately how this works. And I Googled audio extraction software from a file. And I didn't even spell from correctly. And then somehow, I got to this audio extractor website that's expecting video. It's expecting video. Now, I've already downloaded Morning, so we're going to open up the next one. We're going to do Night. It takes very little time on my network speed to actually upload this file, so I'm just going to sit here and talk. But basically, what I did, and I don't know if this page is covered in ads. I have to assume so, since my ad blocker has blocked five things at least. Um, visit this at your own risk. I even did find another website that'll do it as well, Audio Converter. It will not do it with the file format of .str, so I just changed it to mp3 and it worked. No joke, it worked. But this website, convertertools.com, or .net, is not as high of quality and it seems to still compress it at the 15 megabytes because that same song came out at like 20 something on here. I don't know why this isn't done converting. I'm done trying to convert that. Anyway, night is uploaded. Extract audio, download. That's all it takes. Apparently, this website is the hidden piece of gold that I was Googling for like an hour. I even downloaded some like Sega Dreamcast. Uh, here, uh, these toolkits, like I already have these toolkits because I used to have a Sega Dreamcast toolkit. And I'm sure there's software in here somewhere that could have helped me with this. Oh, wow. This is like source code to a Sega Dreamcast. That's insane. But yeah, apparently this was all it took to convert all my old favorite songs. to FLAC to put them on my phone from this old video game. I was just kind of excited. I wanted to share this with people. This is the kind of stuff that gets me excited. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was a fun little thing to record and discover, and people always ask me, what's your process? My process is start with a hex editor. A hex editor is not going to steer you wrong unless it is a... Um, compressed file or encrypted file. In that case, you usually are going to have to figure out a way to get the unencrypted file. Once you have an unencrypted file, go in and just kind of what type of file are you expecting it to be? In this case, I was expecting an audio file. The audio file did happen to be there. I opened it up in an audio player. Something like VLC Media will always play something because it just looks for audio bits in a file, basically. Then once I knew that VLC could play it, that's where the luck kind of came involved. I looked for an audio extraction tool. I happened to find one that works, even though it's expecting video format to rip the audio out of. It still works. So... I use this, I extract the audio, I download it, and I'm done. It was that easy, and that's how my process works usually, is start to finish is X editor, what am I expecting, what do I find, then how do I convert it, and then usually some form of luck is built in. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later, and I'm going to finish converting these, and then mess with the game more because if I can mod the game I'm going to be even more happy about it so I'll talk to you guys later peace out